Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to our Let's Play Minecraft world. So guys, I have done some progress <laughs> with the builds, so that's something. And I've actually been live streaming a couple of times in this world and I will make sure to link those videos in the video description of this video. So if you haven't checked them out already, you can do so if you so wish to. And okay, there we go. Some visual glitches but anyway i have done uh i have made some progress here i'm not sure if i did uh, show you in the previous episode but we have a roof <laughs> finally and i still of course need to need to add a whole ton of things and basically just make the make, make the house ready for moving here and all that stuff but uh in the last live stream we actually worked on the basement here so I did um, I I did a four hour live stream to celebrate the second anniversary of me being a YouTuber last week and we streamed for one hour here and we basically just dig up this this basement area and I feel like this is pretty much the size that it's going to be we are running into some issues here um, later because the this is the the back wall. And I don't really, I don't think, at least not at, at this point, I don't think we are going to expand it any further. But since we do have the multi-page chest mod installed, I feel like this space is going to be enough. We are going to have a, a lot of space, for example, on this wall and all that. So I think it's going to be good. But um, if you did see the the uh, last live stream i have added some details here i put some windows here i felt like we definitely need at least a little bit of natural light here and i i feel like it's working working out just fine and i also added this this uh, foundation these bricks here this will be changed don't worry it looks very very plain but i just wanted to get an idea of the foundation so we are definitely going to add a lot more details and why are you glitching like this kind of annoying <laughs> weird visual glitches but anyway so this is the basement and i feel like we are actually able to start moving our things there very soon i really want to um, move my stuff away from the from the stables because it's you know it's it's time to move on it's time to actually live live um in our house but there are some some problems that i have noticed for example the roof uh do i have any i have some blocks okay so the roof looks very very um plain and i feel like it's way too thin so we need to add add some layers to it but i at the same time i do want to keep it um I do want to keep it flat. I want it to be a flat roof because it's a modern style house. Um, but I really want it to be uh, spawn proofed so that we won't get any nasty spawning on my roof because that's just going to mess things up. I, I can sleep in my own bed if there are creepers on the roof and all that stuff. So that's something that I need to need to work on. I think I just need to um, add one full block to that that height maybe so that way it will be a um mob mob approved roof i guess and let's see uh since the previous episode i'm not sure what else did i do well i made a um an apiary here so that's nice so we can we can get some honey for cooking and when i have i have been harvesting this this sad little garden i have been just you know dreaming about the big official garden that's going to be here eventually and i really want to get moving on that too there's just so many things in this world that i want to um that i want to work on and i also added these compost bins i do have the garden stuff mod installed and since we don't have uh yet i haven't yet been able to find a skelly spawner in this world which is kind of silly but i haven't able haven't been able to do that so i wanted to add some compost bins here and these are actually uh you can put any sort of let's see do i have any plants yes we can put any any sort of uh plants 
or seeds or anything like that here and it will turn into into uh, enriched enriched soil and that will act as bone meal it will act the same way as bone meal so that's a very useful thing to do and um, you know until we get the uh, skelly spawner going so let's actually um okay the night is coming but we still have time so let's go to temple lagoon and well 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 we are glitching again like always so i did a whole ton of work here during the last live stream i added a ton of trees and i feel like it just changes the whole area so much i love it now and especially since this is the uh, beach biome instead of you know desert it also adds the uh, more vibrant colors to the trees so that's very nice let's actually go here and sleep so this is what I I did mostly during the last live stream. We spruced things up in this in this uh, village area, and I really got this uh, this spark to do a lot more detail work all around the world. So we are going to spend uh, well, at least I am going to spend spend. I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to ev eventually record, but I will be spending a ton of time, you know, adding all kinds of little details to the area. So for example, I really wanted to make um, an animal pen here. So we have the villagers here now have some cows and and uh, chickens and pigs. I can remember the animal's name. <laughs> and uh, I added some details like, like some hay bales and there's some cauldrons there for them to drink from and the, all the animals are following me because of my my little headband here so this is what we did and i also made this pathway here added some bushes all around added more of these palm trees here too um let's see what else did we do yeah i added some bushes all around the place and just recently i planted some sugar cane here too not only you know to uh, be functional and get get uh, paper and sugar from, but to also add some, you know, just some landscaping. And let's see, I'm trying to remember what else did we do here. I think we just mostly worked on this this little area. And yeah, I just I just really love how it's looking right now. It added so much more details, you know, just planting the trees and. And putting putting some uh, bushes here and making the making the animal pen there. I I kind of uh, I actually really like that little little piece of land, that little sort of island thing that's that's uh, with the animals there. And we also did some work back there, as you can see. There's like this this whole <laughs> field of torches. So let's go there. So we did a ton of prep work for the future projects since I do want to expand this area and build some more houses. And this is going to be more like this typical um, desert village sort of area. So we actually covered a whole ton of this of this place. And it's actually a lot easier to see it on the map when we switch, uh, switch to night mode. So all of this area is now lit up. And I still need to do the same for this island here. I feel like this is a very interesting interesting place. And I was thinking that... Whoops, okay. There we go. <laughs> I was thinking that that might be a good place to make a lighthouse, actually. Uh, that little island. So I need, to, I need to put some torches around this place, too. And I really feel like when I was lighting up the place... I really felt like I want to add a ton more grass here because this is actually a oasis biome right here. That's why we have this uh, this very nice looking, very nice um, color to the dirt. So we need to add a ton of more dirt, basically all the, around the place where it is o oasis biome. Like for example, all the way, and now it's switched to desert and desert hills. But all the way here, let's see, where is the edge of the biome? Okay, now it's desert. This is kind of odd. Okay, wrong key. 
it's still desert desert but anyway it should actually spread quite quite a long way like this way and you know since we did the same thing uh, in the previous world in the old world I changed a whole ton of the desert area into a savanna we can actually do the same here because I don't I don't really need this this sort of um, huge amount of desert you know everywhere we can we can do something useful with that area I haven't actually even been here do we have any caves or anything orange berries oh I'm not sure if I have those already well that's nice so yeah there's just a lot to do and that place this this area right here I feel like this would be a perfect place to make a li uh, lighthouse or maybe here right here yeah it looks looks nice and I really like that we can actually see this Bourne Island from here too so yeah I did a ton of work here there's still so much work to be done but I'm excited I'm really excited um, I have been s struggling lately with motivation or well not not so much I guess motivation but inspiration in general and you know lacking creativity with all the real life things going on but I'm slowly getting back to the swing of things and I feel like we can we can definitely uh, get back to work and start you know just expanding and and building and doing doing whatever we had planned for this series as well so that's that's exciting and um, I'm not sure if I did say that in the previous episode, but I, I changed my mind what comes to the desert temple. So we are not going to make the desert temple here, since we are obviously obvious, obviously uh, lacking space <laughs> in this area. So that whole area, as I did say, the whole area that is lit up right now, that's going to be more like the, uh, you know, default Minecraft um, desert village sort of area so we are going to build with with uh, sandstone blocks and all those things more more in that area and the the um, desert temple is going to be somewhere there too but this area I was thinking first that uh, I may want to expand the community garden here I kind of uh, well I know that <laughs> I know that we need a ton more uh, crops we need a ton more uh, like wheat and potatoes and carrots and all those things, you know, for the animals as well as ourselves. And I was thinking that maybe, maybe we need to expand it here. But I have an, uh, I have another idea, and I will share that in just a bit. But in this area, I think we are just going to make more of these cute little little acacia houses, and you know, have have some more housing there. So that's the uh, plan with this area right now. And did I take my bed with me? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, that's kind of typical. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So let's go here. We can actually run around a little bit. You know what, guys? I really love this world. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. But yeah, the other idea, what comes to the community garden, was that... I'm just admiring my <laughs> my little coral uh, reef here. The other idea was that since we do have the bigger village here that was, you know, spawned here naturally, all the way back there. Let's actually take the map. It's a little bit easier. This village here, I was thinking that maybe we should turn this into a... Um, farming village since they do have like all, all these plots right here are uh, garden plots or the uh, for the crops I feel like that would be a very very nice place to you know uh, use this as a sort of a community farm village like official one uh, in in one way I'm even though this is a uh, single player world I am still planning on on releasing the world download eventually and I in some way I kind of still want to treat this as a kind of like a server so we we would have all the necessary um, important stuff like community uh, farms and some villagers for trading and all, all those things near the spawn since this is the spawn island so that was my idea 
because the the um the bigger village is very close to spawn already and it has has already all the um you know potatoes and carrots and wheat especially so i think i think we are going to work here in the future quite quite a bit i feel like we are going to just take down all the default houses and make, make it a custom village very nice custom village and you know just expand the whole whole uh, farming concept in that area but let's quickly hop over here and let's go to the donor mountain and i'm stuck again <laughs> By the way, guys, uh, someone, I I think it was in the, uh, okay, there we go. I think it was in the last episode, someone commented and suggested that we would move the teleporters like one block up, like, like that they would sit on top of a block and maybe that would get rid of the issue, you know, get, getting stuck on the ground. And I did try that and unfortunately it didn't work. So... We just need to d dig ourselves out of the <laughs> ground for now. But this is something that, um, obviously, as you can see, I haven't really been working on this too much. But I kind of, I had, I have a couple of ideas. Since I do want to make the uh, special, like the separate uh, areas for Steam games and the Amazon gifts and the patrons as well, of course, I was first thinking that... Um, maybe we should like i already framed this like this door frame here it's it's the same size as that one i was thinking that maybe we should just dig inside of this mountain more and make uh maybe a couple of hallways if you have seen my my donor area on time shot maybe use that similar sort of idea so that we we would have more space to expand if needed so that's the um the idea that i had first but then i started thinking that since i did decide to <laughs> make this donor area a little too high up as you can see we are running into some issues there um i was thinking that maybe instead of using this this middle part here as a patient area maybe i should make uh, a big stairway going down and below we could have a similar sized area so it, it just means a lot more work obviously but we could have a similar similar uh, circular room and that room could be for the for the steam games and the other uh, donation and the amazon gifts and the patreon area would be maybe even uh, lower than that one so basically just you know um expand what i have here already so i'm kind of debating between those two ideas um if i am going to expand this way you know make ho make some sort of hallway and start digging more i feel like uh, i'm kind of afraid that we are actually going to run out of space especially since it's so high up but we have plenty of room going downstairs. So if we are uh, eventually going to have the staircase going down here, you know, it's um, we are on level 104 right now. So there's so much space to expand downwards. So I feel like that's going to be the, um, the design that I'm going to go with. And the... Like I said, the Patreon area and the Steam games and Amazon gifts, they are going to be below this this room. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I will uh, switch the uh, locations for each each donor area. But anyway, um, I am going to work on the roof very soon. I have, I'm not sure if I did mention it already. I have uh, decided that we are going to have a glass dome, sort of like half dome or whatever. And I will need to start working working on that very soon because I'm I'm very annoyed that I have been bro uh, procrastinating so much with this build. But you know it's it's a lot of work, and with all the all the recent things going on in my life, and you know just just being being busy and stressed out and lacking lacking uh, creativity and inspiration, it has been a very hard um very hard time to try to 
get anything done in this area. But since you guys definitely deserve it, you guys are amazing and I really want to honor all, all the do donors, all the patrons, everyone who has been supporting uh, supporting me and my channel in any way. I really want to get this thing moving and start uh, making some progress and at least have the roof on <laughs> so that we won't get any any issues with the mobs, especially with this this monstrosity here. But I feel like I have been babbling so much. It's about time to end this episode. There we go. <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any any ideas, any thoughts about the the uh, projects that I was talking about. If you have any any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And I will see you next time here in Maranda. Bye bye.